More than 2 million lightning strikes occur on average per year on French territory. They constitute a real risk for all humans and building structures. In France, the decree laws require the installation of lightning conductors on industrial buildings, high buildings, and public buildings. When a lightning strike occurs, the lightning conductor captures the energy thanks to its active tip. The downstream conductor then leads it to the earthing system for dissipation. The installation of a lightning conductor is always done after a preliminary study of the site by a qualified professional. This person will make a recommendation based on the relevant protection needed, taking into account various elements such as the size of the structure, its location, and the lightning density of the area. Let's now follow a team of specialists that will show us the practical and informative aspects that have been applied to ensure a proper lightning installation and also to achieve a correct earthing system, knowing that this one has to be lower than 10 ohms. With regards to the small space allowed in this particular site, you will notice that the earthing system has a triangular shape. This earthing system will be made of tin plated copper tape and three earth rods. French should be as narrow as possible in order not to change the initial structure of the ground too much. Its depth should be at least 50 centimeters to keep it away from frost, but not too deep as the lightning current dissipate better in the ground surface. The first rod is placed three meters away from the building as it is constructed out of three elements of one meter each. An interim measurement of the earthing system allows us to continue with the installation of the second earth rod which is located at least three meters away from the first one. Another measurement of the earthing system indicates that we need to continue with the installation of the third earth rod. The installation must be identical to the other rods and placed at least three meters away from the other two. Ohm values lower than 10 ohms in accordance with early streamer standard NFC 17102 are recommended. A fundamental part of the installation now takes place by connecting the electrical earthing system of the building and the lightning earth system in order to achieve a good equipotential bonding between these two earthing systems. We now use a rope connected to a tape drive to position the flat conductor on the roof. Install the roof fixing accessories, three per meter. Clip the tape onto the studs fixing accessories and the wall. To route it over the parapet, the following bending shapes need to be achieved. Fit the tape onto the wall using three fasteners per meter. These operations must be carried out by an approved installer according to the strict rules of security. We now have to install the lightning strike counter onto the wall and connect it to the flat protecting tape. We also have to connect all the down conductors to every metal part connected to the ground in order to avoid any flashover. Place the inspection earthing pit into the ground and connect the down conductors to the earthing system. Insert the test coupling in order to isolate the earthing system from the rest of the installation while taking measurements. Connection in the earthing pit is completed between the building's electrical earth and the lightning's earth system. Screw the tip into the pulsar's body. Mm -hmm. 
screw the Pulsar's head onto the mast and tighten the screws. Mount the mounting brackets onto the wall. Attach the lightning conductor to the mounting bracket. Connect to the down conductor tape and complete the installation. Fill up the trenches. The lightning rod is now fully installed. A final test is conducted to verify that the installation was done correctly in presence of the client and the installer. Remove the test coupling to be able to conduct the earth measurement and indicate this value on the conformity certificate. The NFC 17102 standard requires that all sites protected by early streamer emission lightning rods must be verified on a continuous basis. It is recommended that a maintenance contract be signed between the customer and the authorized installer to facilitate this approach.